There's another labor dispute in this country threatening billions in trade. The port of Vancouver could be shut down as soon as Monday. The timing very concerning at the kickoff to the holiday shopping season. The federal government is facing calls to intervene in the potential work stoppage at Canada's largest port. CTV's BC Bureau Chief Andrew Johnson is following the latest. Andrew, what is this all about? Heather, after mediated talks this week soured, the union issued strike notice. Now the employers are threatening to lock port workers out. The movement of billions of dollars in goods is at stake at a critical time of year. This dispute involves more than 700 foremen. One of the major issues, automation at the port. The two sides are blaming each other. The union says it had only planned to engage in limited job action on Monday through an overtime ban, and it calls the lockout being threatened by employers an overreaction. The Maritime Employers Association calls the union's potential job action escalating and unpredictable and says it will defensively lock out members to safely wind down operations. The Vancouver Board of Trade is calling for the federal government to get involved immediately. This is a very concerning situation and puts our economy at risk. And it comes at a time where a lot of retailers are gearing up for our holiday season and they're already dealing with considerable affordability measures right now. A dispute at Canada's largest gateway will impact all industries and all sectors. And we're talking about goods uh, like agriculture goods, we're talking about consumer goods, we're talking about food, we are talking about manufacturing goods. A lockout this week would not affect grain handling. Everything could come to a halt here at the port as soon as Monday morning. The Employers Association tells us it is prepared to cancel its lockout notice if the union withdraws its strike notice. The union says it's open to restarting talks. Heather. All right, Andrew, thank you.